students how we doing hope you are doing great today in this video let us learn about the special functions of fruits before going to the video i would like to say a few things about this channel so anyone who is new here on our academy make sure subscribe and tap the bell icon to get instant updates of our channel and anyone who didn't watch our previous video tap the info cards and learn about the plant morphology root system in detailed and in a conceptual manner and anyone who didn't join our telegram group at make sure join that telegram group so that you can clarify your doubts and questions within just 24 hours and link to our telegram group will be provided in the description given below and now i'll be asking you a total of five questions where i'll be answering based on our previous session that is the plant morphology root system and make sure answer them correctly in the comment box given below and the the guys who answer them correctly i'll be revealing their names in my upcoming videos do you want a chance make sure ask them correctly so the first question is the largest root cap is seen in which plant i have told this in my previous session anyone uh, who know the answer make sure comment down below the second question the plants possessing root pockets are which plants possess root pockets i have told this in brief in my uh, previous video and the third question the presence of fibrous root system is a characteristic of which plant and uh, the fibrous root the fibrous root system is seen in monocot or dicot i have told you in brief in my previous video and even had watched it already you might be knowing this answer and the fourth question roots generally grow towards the soil so they are i have told this at the beginning of the session and the fifth question radical develops into the radical develops into so these are the five questions and if you want to know about more about this question pause the video have a little think about it and answer them correct so as discussed earlier let us learn about the special functions of root system there are several functions of roots if we think in detail so let us learn about the tuberous root system and the prop roots respiratory roots nodular roots parasitic plants etc i'll be listing them here so that you can have a brief check and knowledge about it let us learn about the tuberous roots in this kind of roots the roots store food materials and become more bulky and tuberous so they are known as tuberous roots for example carrot docus carota and radish raphanus sativus beetroot beta vulgaris they are the scientific names if you remember so they are the plants which store food materials so in carrot we can see the conical form of roots and in beetroot we can see the nappy form roots and in radish we can see the fusy form roots so this is the case in carrot beetroot and radish and they are the tap roots and they are the tap roots which store food materials let us learn about the fibrous roots which store food materials for example sweet potato this is called as ipomia batatas where the fibrous roots together the cluster of fibrous roots become swollen and they store food materials and become more bulky and tuberous in the form of a sweet potato so they are known as fasciculated roots and you have to remember that the fasciculated roots of dahlia is soluble polysaccharide called insulin is present let us learn about the prop roots prop roots can be seen in banyan banyan is also known as ficus bengalensis where the pillar like roots appear from the branches they give additional support for the huge tree let us learn about the stilt roots stilt roots are also known as the brace roots these roots arise from the basal node of the stem 
to give additional mechanical support to the plant. For example, sugarcane. Sugarcane is known as saccharum officinarium and maize. It is also known as Z maize. Let us learn about the climbing roots. Climbing roots are the roots which arise from the node of the stem and help in climbing. For example, pothos. Pothos which is known as money plant and piper nigrum which is also known as the beetle plant. Let us learn about the respiratory roots. Respiratory roots are seen in the plants which grow in the saline marshes where the oxygen is absent in such soil. For example, rhizophora. So, due to the absence of oxygen in the soil, the roots have lenticels or pneumatophores which help in exchange of gases. Some of the plants become negatively geotropic and grow erect above the soil. Hence, they need some of the respiratory roots. Hence, they possess those pneumatophores or lenticels which helps in exchange of gases and live their living. Let us learn about the photosynthetic roots. These roots are have the capability to prepare their own food. For example, trapa, taniophyllum are green. They are the roots which are green in color and they absorb carbon dioxide and sunlight and prepare food by themselves. So they are known as the photosynthetic roots. Let us learn about the epiphytic roots. It can be seen in Vanda. It is a plant where it takes support from the host for the support only. This kind, this kind of roots are called as epiphytic roots. As you can see in the picture, the plant takes the help of the clinging root hairs which help it to take the support of the host plant. And this kind of roots are called as velamen roots which absorb moisture from the air and soil. Let us learn about the parasitic plants. Parasitic plants are the plants which absorb water or food or both from the host plant and use it for itself. For example, Cascuta europea which is also called as daughter plant. They have the special kind of roots called Hostoria which helps to draw water, minerals, food from the host plant and, and make it useful for itself. And it takes the help of the Dodonia plant which is a host plant. So this is called as the parasitic plant and the daughter plant is a complete stem parasite. In our upcoming videos, we will be uploading about the shoot system, the special functions of shoot, etc. For that, make sure like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon to get instant updates of our channel. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.